Okay, this is Stan Cloyd, Mesa, Arizona. We're doing a uh, test of the JLD-404 as a charge controller, a temporary charge controller. Uh, it's a bright, sunny day out there. Currently, I'm charging at um, about 4 kilowatts. I'll bring this up. Do a little adjustment so we can see it. And of course, it's reading backwards in my screen. All right, well, I've got the thing set to... Terminate charge at 403 volts, which is a maximum. We'll lower that amount later after testing. Right now it shows J, contactor J1 is closed, which means the kiloback contactor is energized. It's showing a negative here. So if we step through the current, or step through the readouts, amp hours, hours, minutes, amps. Okay, it's showing that I'm charging at 3 amps at the moment. I would say some clouds just went over the solar arrays because it was at 10 amps a few moments ago. We're at 398.8 volts according to this, 396.7 according to the inverter up there depending on who you want to believe. Meters all vary a little bit. So this should open this J1 contact when it's added about three more volts. Uh, the other setting that's programmed into this now is 385. In other words, once it quits charging the battery from solar, I can start powering the shop from the inverter and the battery, and then when it gets down to 385, it'll bring the solar back in, if the test is successful. This is my first attempt at a video from the laptop, since I was having trouble with the other camera. Uh, I signed up for YouTube live streaming, but they will not immediately give you access. They have to clear you for 24 hours before that's approved. So you dodge the bullet. You don't have to watch me try to do a live stream yet. Maybe tomorrow. Well, that's all we got from Mesa, Arizona. We're charging uh, a Better Place Influenza or a Fluenza battery pack at four kilowatt hours. I got a five kilowatt hour array, but I do not have a maximum power point tracking system in it, so it's just wild charging. Whatever efficiency point the conditions happen to be at for the solar panels, that's the amount of power it'll give you. <clears throat> Certainly not optimized. Maybe in a month or two when I put on another array, we'll get that module in here and actually see an increase in performance. Well, that's what I've got for Saturday, uh, the 25th of August, Mesa, Arizona. Take care, everybody.